Welcome back to Machine Learning for Engineers. In this exercise, we're going to use OpenCV to modify some of the image features to be able to extract things for, let's say, tracking. In this case, for lane detection for an autonomous vehicle. We're going to explore some features that are effective for this transformation, such as binary, edge, line, difference, RGB, and then, which is red, green, blue, and then also HSV, hue, saturation, and value. So when we look at uh, image analysis, we want to transform the original image, maybe that we see, into a form that's easier for computer vision to be able to pick out features such as lanes. And if you look at um, you know, images of lanes, you'll see some that are you know, paved, uh, some that are off-road, some that are covered in snow as well. And you look at autonomous vehicles and how they're going to be adapting, you know, for example, to be able to detect lanes. You can see here on the right, um, you know, there's these red lines that show where the lane markers are. And we want to be able to enable real-time computer vision to be able to detect things like that. So we're going to start with this OpenCV demo and explore some various methods just from cameras. Uh, you know, we could use other types of sensors as well. There's other technologies like if you go to GPR.com. This is a vehicle ground penetrating radar positioning that looks at underground uh, features. So there are other types of sensors even beyond just the electro optical cameras or EO cameras that we uh, think of from video or photos. So let's just jump into this exercise. Uh, we are going to take uh, some example code right here and then modify it to add um, this HSV. So I'm going to click get code down here at the bottom and just copy this link right here. And then here in my Jupyter Notebook, I'll load and then that link and if it has this problem with um, it can't uh, use it, do the uh, H TTPS, then just get rid of the S and then run it again. It'll comment it out and there is your code. So if I run this cell, then it should pop up with a, um, okay, after it loads and runs this, it will come up with uh, this. I'm gonna go ahead and just start it. Um, if I click start on this side, then I can see the real time uh, video feed that's coming. And I have some slider bars here as well. Some of them like binary, adjust the tolerance for the upper and lower threshold for uh, detecting this binary, uh, basically converting it to black and white. Okay, so that would be one way that we could do road detection is just adjust you know, what we um, detect in terms of, you know, grayscale and then to a uh, one or zero for, okay, if I wanted to detect, for example, I have a black shirt on right here, and then everything else is going to be uh, very bright. Okay, so um, here I have edge as well, so I can detect the edges in my image. And then I can also do lines as well. So I can see the lines that it identified. So for example, here, the edges, uh, for example, right here on my door, on my whiteboard, and other places, you can see some that are coming in and out. Now I can also do difference. So if I move side to side, I can see the difference. And also if I you know, pound my desk a little bit, the camera is gonna shake and it's gonna have more differences there. Okay, and then also do RGB. So this is the original, and then it separates it into the red, green, and blue components, and then I'm just looking at those on grayscale. Um, and you know these don't do anything for the sliders here. The one thing that I'm going to have you do is see if you can add the HSV, similar to RGB, where I've separated this into the three different components, you wanna do hue, saturation, and value. So let me just tell you a little bit more about that before we jump into HSV. Here's a color map of HSV, where the saturation 
saturation is going to be um, basically how much gray is in the image. And then value, if you want to think about that as like how much light there is in the image. So even though the image might be black or gray, there might be a certain amount of light intensity that's, um, that's shed on that. So that's going to be the value. And then the hue here in the 360 view, that's going to be the color. So it's separating out the color from the saturation and the value, how light it is and how much gray it is, how much gray there is in the image. Okay, so we're going to add that uh, to the image detection. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and then uh, closing it, sometimes it freezes up. So you just have to restart your kernel. Okay, just to get rid of that. All right, so um, let's come in here to the code. And uh, this is going to be down here. We're going to add another mode. Uh, instead of just RGB, we're going to add the HSV. All right, and then we're going to, um, just similar to what we had before, break it into these different frame sizes. All right, so I'm just going to copy the RGB code right here just to split it into these uh, different, um, different components here. Okay, and then what I want to do is instead of RGB, I'm going to convert this into HSV. And I'm going to do CV and then CVT, CVT color. All right, I'm going to take my half, uh, the one that I resized, and then just apply the color. And this is going to be BGR. So OpenCV uses blue, green, red instead of red, green, blue uh, to HSV. So we're gonna, this is the main uh, function that we're going to use to convert uh, from BGR to HSV. And then we're going to split this. All right. So that instead of the half, the original one, we're going to split the HSV into H, S, and V. All right, now our top, we're just going to um, have those be the hue values. All right, and then the bottom, we'll merge these together. This will be our S values. All right, and then our V. Okay, that's a value or a brightness. Okay, so that should be it. Let's see if that works now. Or if there's an error. All right, so we'll bring this up. I have RGB, I'll start this. All right, and then here is my HSV. But you can see a bit of noise here. Let's maybe try to clean some of that up um, as we split it into the hue, saturation, and value or brightness. So I'll stop this, just restart my kernel. All right, so this one, what I'm going to do is just get my slider values similar to what I did here, getting my slider values here. And then I'm going to create just a transformation. Okay, so um, I'll just transform, to kind of clean these up, I'll use a morphology. Um, to do this. All right, so right above here, I'm just going to paste this in. Here are some uh, sliders. I'm going to get the sliders between 0 and 255. And then I'm going to create a kernel. Okay, and the kernel is going to be uh, get structuring element. I'm going to do this morphology rectangle. So get a 3 by 3. And then my new s value um, is going to be within this range. As I slide it back and forth, I'm going to apply this morphology to get rid of some of this noise. Okay, there's also V as well uh, that I'm going to use. So let's run this again and just see how well this works to clean up the image a little bit. Okay, it takes a little bit um, to run once we 
click go but there I've loaded it let's go to HSV okay and you can see I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit uh, in terms of adjusting some of the parameters so that I could potentially identify the lane in this um, image all right so there you can see the sliders that are going back and forth and um, you know, so in this case, let's say this bottom right, that was the lane. Uh, you can see the brightness on one side, okay? And you can see maybe this is able to best detect uh, the lane. So maybe go out and try this just on a, a picture or a, take it out to a road and see how well this works uh, for a road. Okay, so let me interrupt that, Colonel. I'll give an overview of where we're going next with some of this. Um, we have a lot of the computer vision content right here um, in the course website. You can see Introduction to OpenCV. I recommend that if you're just getting started with OpenCV, be able to import images, do some simple modifications like resizing the images. Uh, and then once we develop these features, then we're going to use things like cascade classifiers. We'll also use deep learning to be able to detect, um, take features and then transform it into some type of classifier, classification or regression. And then there are many applications down here as well. Any of them that you see with the eye, that's a computer vision application. And so you can see hand tracking, facial recognition, bit classification, we have this road detection and then soil classification, texture classification as well. So many other computer vision um, exercises and example code that you can use. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial exercise. Come back for additional information on machine learning for engineers. And I hope you enjoyed the, the content. Please leave uh, suggestions or comments.